international artists from around the world here at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery in Chelsea, so come join me. With us is Ruthie Tucker here at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery, just amazing art, international artists from around the world. Tell us what we can expect tonight, Ruthie. Crystal, we will have art here at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery in Chelsea. We will have floral, we will have figurative, we will have landscape work. We have an, an outstanding photography exhibit. We have surrealism, we have abstract work. International and national artists carefully curated and showing the public a museum curated environment. And we thank our dear Crystal once again and John for filming Amsterdam Whitney Gallery and featuring us on your gorgeous show. And I'm sorry for all of you out there that you can't see how beautiful Crystal Hart is in person. So we welcome you all to Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. Thank you. And now we're going to take a little walk around. Yes, indeed. Thank you. With us is Alan Benowitz, all the way from Florida. And tell us a little bit about the photographs you brought here tonight. Ruthie Tucker selected four of my pictures. Uh, one is from uh, Sri Lanka in the Dambula Caves. The next one behind me is uh, called uh, Tulips and Prime from Holland. And the next one is a uh, nightclub dancer from a uh, dinner theater tent with, in concert with Cirque du Soleil and a celebrated chef in Miami in the Miami Design District. And the last one on your right is uh, called Time Warp from Havana, Cuba, Old Havana. We are in front of the work of the Swiss artist Nicole Coutre, who is astonishing in her uh, treatment of nature and with an abstract beauty, and her colorations are worldwide known. She's an international celebrated artist and her works and I wish you could see the beautiful tonalities and her kaleidoscopic color palette of the burnt oranges and the greens that invite everyone to enjoy the beauty of nature and the beauty of landscape work and uh, enjoying the uh, wonderful majesty of our world. I am standing in front of the California artist Zoe Ann Fisher whose landscape reveries are noted worldwide. These are abstract landscapes that are dream works that really extol the beauty of nature, the wonderment of land, and make us feel at one with nature. Their peace, their harmony, and they are serene. We hope you enjoy the work of Zoe and Fisher. May we introduce you to the works of David Emmanuel Noel a United Kingdom artist and also an architect who is noted for his rhythmic forms and the reverberating beat of his work. You can see the swirling movement, the shapes, and his palette is magnificent with the blues that are cerulean blue. David Noel is also very philanthropic and he's donating a great portion of the sales of his art to a charity uh, that will help feed uh, the hungry children. So we're honored to be featuring and showcasing David Emmanuel Noel from United Kingdom. It is with great pride that I introduce you to the work of Sama El Hajj. Sama is originally from Lebanon who lives in Sweden. So once again, she represents a cosmopolitan international point of view. And you can see her outstanding works really reflect a diverse style. So please remember the work of Sama El Hajj. I am excited to introduce you to the works of an outstanding Canadian artist, Yolanta Desjardins. And her last name is very applicable because we see Jardin in it, which is the French word for garden, and Yolanda de Jardin is a master of painting florals and still lifes. And you can see her incandescent colors and the beauty of her work right behind me. So please remember the name of Yolanda de Jardin from Canada. With us, Joseph O'Neill from How New York City with, as Ruthie Tucker said, all these nocturnal uh, photographs. Now tell us a little bit about your work and, and what you uh, photograph. Um, I basically take my camera and wander around Manhattan with my camera at nighttime, daytime, any time of the day and look for interesting spots and pictures and lighting. It's mainly about the lighting 
and that's all it is. And what inspires you? New York. New I'm, York. A, I'm a New Yorker. Born and raised. I, I would rather live nowhere else. Nowhere I couldn't else. live anywhere else. I just love it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Allow me to introduce to you the work of a brilliant Buenos Aires Argentine artist, and her name is Liliana Jacadorian. These oversized abstract canvases are truly, as people say, awesome. Their brilliance, their incandescence, and their luminescence of painterly form are truly amazing. Liliana expresses very warm, deep thoughts from the heart, and Amsterdam Whitney Gallery is proud to be featuring Liliana Jacadorian. I, almost all my paintings um, uh, express my strong feelings. I use uh, visual narratives and symbolisms. Uh, and everything has a, a message. Um, I like that the viewer uh, uh, feel a strong connection with my paintings. The windmill of love is a, actually is a windmill. And the upper show a uh, couple. Uh, what I want to say through this painting is uh, about finding the true love. Well, a United Kingdom artist who's originally from Poland, and you can see her beautiful tones, her vibrant work, the passion that she uh, expresses in her expressionistic paintings, the visceral thoughts, the powerful mind, and her unique artistic vision. Please remember the name of Jola Wilk. With this tomorrow gettings by way of uh, Russia to Las Vegas to New York City and tell us just a little bit about why you paint and, and your concept. Of this picture of uh, my Dasha, it's a part of my family. Uh, she was 14 years old here and uh, she is uh, posed me for that picture, a plus pictures, because I live in Las Vegas, she lives in Los Angeles, but she was available for posing. This is no other than the famous Marilyn Monroe. Yes, right? it, she is. She also. is. The passion, uh, flower of passion, I titled that painting, and she was like a flower, very vulnerable, uh, beautiful, and weak somehow among that uh, men who surrounded her all her life. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the works of the Washington artist and architect Robert Gilbert. Right behind me you can see the uh, it's a triptych, three paintings combined into one which becomes a triptych of New York City Times Square. We're seeing the Lion King, we're seeing the dazzling lights of New York City. We're seeing the excitement, the thrill of being at Times Square. For so all of you visitors who watch the Crystal Heart Show, you can feel at one being at Times Square and Crystal is wonderful in filming this and she is featuring and showcasing Robert Gilbert, his nocturnal works of Times Square. May I just introduce my handsome husband, after whom the gallery is named, Ambassador Dr. Alton Lewis Amsterdam. His Excellency, the Ambassador, Ambassador Dr. Amsterdam III, International Ambassador at Large for Counterterrorism for 28 years. We're honored to be here, and God bless you all. And we thank you again, and God bless you, Crystal. Thank you. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Chelsea, New York, here at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery. Hope you've enjoyed the show, and thanks for watching.